What were those things? Excuse me. Doctor? Ah, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation, perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. Deck 4, Hazard Operations. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm working? Rigel 7 was tough, but we only lived there for a couple years. You think you had it tough? Try being a Betazoid on Vulcan, where any hint of emotion is frowned upon. Hey, Ox. Just come from sick bay? Watch it. So, how's the Oralite Cobbler? Delicious, thank you. believe we were all nearly killed last time. Yeah, they messed us up pretty good. Well, that's not really fair. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? I heard Chakotay and Duvok talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. <sighs> he was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along in the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation? All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. With the information your team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. This is called the Forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing? Or why it's here? No. The Aetherians had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is Isodecium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Alana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Aetherians shows that there is Isodecium nearby. Unfortunately, it's located here. What is that? The Scavenger's base of operations. These are the Scavengers, a loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. They survive by raiding other ships for supplies, like their attack on Voyager earlier. The Isodecium was most likely stolen from other ships, Looks like they use some of it, but most of it is scattered around their base. They probably don't know of its energy potential. It's imperative that we get the Isodecium and get Voyager functioning again. We don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here or what that forge has in store for us. Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, Human, Malon, and Hiroji. We're a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction point. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the Isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good luck, team. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Vulcans love it when you yank real hard on their ears. Some Vulcan pain ritual thing. Really? 
Yeah. How do you think they got so pointy? Trust me, try it. Tuvok will have an all new respect for you. I don't know. Move it. Good work, Wire. Take this to the captain. Yes, sir. We just finished replicating the new compound grenade rifle. I know it's a stealth mission, but you never know what you're gonna run into out there. Shuttle Bay. Crewman, can I help you? Hey, Monroe, they're waiting for you down below. They're having some trouble with the docking clamps, but I think Salma and Lang are on it. Right. We don't want to activate the pattern enhancers until we're ready to beam out. Gotcha. We don't want anyone detecting us too soon. Excuse me. Return to your duty. Equipment Spencer. check complete, sir. Everything looks good. I'll try it again. I've already tried it five times. They're stuck. The controls must have been damaged in the attack. Great. Lang to Paris. I'm down below, but there's a serious exhaust leak down here. I can't get to the overrides. Hey, Les, can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe, you don't look busy. Get down below and see what you can do. So what's with that base? Looks like... <sighs> Seraton gas. It's got to be over 500 degrees. I don't think even your hazard suit can protect you from that kind of thing. at your service. I will be your captain for this flight. I estimate a cruising speed of about two-thirds impulse power and an elapsed time of just under five minutes. All right, captain. We're all set here. Okay, all aboard. This is your captain speaking. The in-flight movie will be Captain Proton versus the Robo Zombies. Thank you for flying, Delta Flyer Airlines, and we hope you have a pleasant flight.
Gents, meet you back at the homestead. All right, this is a stealth mission. Avoid detection at all cost. However, if you do find yourself in a hostile engagement, defend yourself by any means necessary. On route to airlock three. Right, on my way to airlock two. Checking in. I'm in position. Odell checking in. I'm through the third airlock. All right, team. We'll be using a coded Federation subspace comm channel, but try to maintain comm silence unless absolutely necessary. When I give the signal, return here. We'll have pattern enhancers set up to beam us out. track you for a little while here. We'll try to alert you to any dangers we can detect. Careful. No running. Footsteps could alert the Klingons. Stay quiet. Watch it. There's a couple of life signs just ahead. Lean around the corner and check it out. Checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found some isodesium. This section looks male on a design. Rundown, lots of fog. Radiation levels are high. Roger. Foster out.
human food tastes like? Checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found a sample of the Isodesium. Sir, this area looks like a Federation ship, early 23rd century. But I don't recognize these markings. This is not an archaeological expedition. Just get the samples and get out. Roger, sir. Telsia out. That is why humans like it. Well, it was a good raid. Raids, we are Klingons, not Orion pirates. There is no honor in raids. And we have to put up with those insufferable Melon Patoks. And those irritating humans. At least they're a good buffer from erosion. Buffer? Now you sound like a Romulan. They're lucky we need them for raids. Never get out of here. The first ones I plan to kill are those Herojin. <laughs> that would be a glorious day. <laughs> it will be a good day to die.
transfer manifolds. I'll check with the guard in the cargo bay. 